Alrighty, Virgos. So this is going to be a reading for January 7th through the 14th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we are going to see what intuitive messages come through. The first deck we are going to use is the Gypsy Oracle deck. Um, if anybody wants to purchase it, this is what it looks like. And then we're going to finish off with my golden universal tarot. So, yes. Um, also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, all of my information is going to be in the description box for you to find, as well as my information for my Patreon. And let's see what, let's see what you guys have going on for this week, okay? And excuse me if I get tongue-tied in this reading. I've been, like, super tongue-tied in the other readings, so I'm just going to make that disclaimer now. And... Let's just get straight into it. Okay. So a lot of connections or a lot of situations where people have not really been 100% honest with you or just where you felt like people did not have your best interest I feel like you're going to start to realize And you're going to have to remove them out of your life, okay? Especially with the situation where somebody did seem like they were one way before, but they're really not that way. Some of you guys are also killing yourself mentally about a situation or a circumstance. You may feel as if time is running out, like maybe you have a creative project and like the deadline's coming up or... You probably expected to see yourself uh, further than where you're at now. And you may be just racking your head about that as well. Or you may have like a lot of things that you may need to purchase, like for a home or just a lot of things that you're needing to deal with and it's killing you mentally, okay? I feel like you do need to come out of your head, especially when it comes to any situations that were removed from you, okay? Anything that's not serving you at this moment is being removed from you. So there is no reason for you to kill yourself mentally about it. Understand that it no longer serves a purpose in your life. That's why it's being removed. Some of you guys are mentally revisiting an old situation as well, trying to confront some things when it comes to like some things you may have overlooked. Um, you could be visiting family like your grandmother or your mother. Or needing to take care of somebody who's elderly is why well. I am saying that you guys mentally may be rocking your head about somebody who may be sick. Like you may be realizing that somebody's sick and then you're you're racking your brain about like what you're going to do when it comes to helping them live out the rest of their days in a positive sense. I feel like everything's going to be okay as long as you guys do make sure you're showing this person that you care about them and that, you know, if you haven't seen them in a while, go visit them to make sure everything's okay. But yeah, <sighs> heavy energy, guys, heavy energy going into this week. I feel like if you were sad about some things, it's time for you to come out your house or it's time for you guys to get out there. Some of you guys are out there, like you guys are getting stuff done, but it's like you don't have no time for yourself. So it's like a couple of things. There's one set of Virgos who are really, really upset about some things. Um, maybe like somebody who's about to pass away. Maybe you heard some like really negative news or what but um 
it's like your emotions are like all over the place right now, but you're not taking time to deal with it in the comfort of your own home. So if you are somebody who has a lot going on right now and you're not dealing with your emotions because you have to overwork or what, make sure you are taking some time to figure out what's going on with you emotionally, okay? I also feel like somebody is going to show their true colors this week when it comes to like how they're going to act. Um, this person is really going to show you who they are, whatever that means. Um, I feel as if also, if you were in a space of having issues with your dating life, I feel like that's an issue still. Like you're not going out there and really seeking a, a new partner um your friends may be like trying to encourage you to go out there and meet someone new and you're just like no a lot of you guys are just focused on your foundation what you're trying to build really trying to tend to that and trying to build structure some of you guys it's like a relationship that you also gave to you gave a lot to it like you were there waiting hand and feet on this person it's just like well damn it just fell through like that so this week what's really going to need to happen is you guys are going to have to get a grip on your emotions like especially if you are upset about some things you're going to have to deal with those emotions the proper way so let's go ahead and see what the regular tarot has to say regarding this What's going on, my Virgos, for January 7th through the 14th, please? January 7th through the 14th. For my summer rising Venus Virgos. And I'm going to stop right here. So regret, you guys are still focusing on what did not work out in the past to the point where you're not looking towards the future or towards the opportunities that are right behind you, okay? Because you're just focusing on what did not work out. This could be in a love relationship. This could be with opportunities. Just looking at all the bad and not seeing the good through the bad. So like I said, you guys are really going to have to get control over your emotions this week. I feel like it's going to require a lot of emotional, mature energy to deal with what you're dealing with, okay? Especially when there's just things being hurled at you. You could be dealing with the water sign. But overall, I feel as if you guys are needing to use your intuition. And also learning how to be the high priestess. And the high priestess is all about knowing, knowing stuff, but knowing when to make it known, if that makes sense. So having the knowledge but protecting it. So I feel like moving forward, you guys are going to have to really be in a space of stillness to understand or to decipher through all this confusion, especially when there is a lot of smoke screens put in front of you to purposely confuse you. Whether this is people who are purposely like putting some things up so you can't really see who they are. Or you needing to sit with yourself. Some of you guys are struggling with some sort of drug addiction. That's another problem. But what needs to happen? Yeah. As soon as I said that, the devil card came out. Some of you guys are struggling with this addiction or struggling with being tied to a person. Looks like a Capricorn as well. Looks like you guys are tied to someone in a very negative sense, okay? Um, I 
It's like a ticking time bomb. With this situation. At any moment, it could just come back and bite both of you guys in the ass. So what the universe is saying, you need to move away from this. Like, you need to move away from this. You need to move to a place where you and only you are going, okay? I feel like, yes, you guys are getting over some things, but you need to fully get yourself away from this situation, okay? You need to remove this mindset of, okay, this is all I deserve or this is all... All I'm going to put up with. And it's like, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. So there's an opportunity for you guys to start a stable connection here. But what needs to happen, there needs to be proper planning and structure here because you guys are not offering enough you're not offering enough this could be with an aries or an aquarius but there's an opportunity for you guys or a taurus but there's an opportunity for you guys to get this connection but you guys are needing to heal and actually be hopeful for this because i feel like it's right there in front of you but you're still focusing on what the hell happened in the past that you're not seeing it all right but there's an opportunity you guys are gonna have to get at a better emotional state though because if not the universe is not going to give it to you but there's a new beginning here for you guys and it looks like with an aries okay it looks like with an aries um i feel like this situation has some time on it this is somebody who you already know and this situation could grant wish fulfillment but it's all about you changing your perspective guys okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher what's going on with my virgos cross watcher partner person in question for january 7th through the 14th please Well, okay, so first card out, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So like I said, somebody's wanting to present a stable opportunity to you. Somebody's really wanting to build and see where it can go, all right, and just start off building. But this person, if they can't get that from you, then they're going to walk away. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys. There is an opportunity, but you guys are needing to actually grab it actually act on it i feel like this person feels as if you're still stuck in your past or this person is in a space of looking at what was wrong in this connection as well that they're having issues with moving on from you yeah feeling a sense of heartbreak stagnant energy really like needing to see their situation from a different perspective as well so that they can get out there but i feel like this person feels like you're fickle like one moment you give them love and the next second you pull back and that's hurting them that's hurting them they really want this connection to be stable and they're trying to stay strong but it's just like it's not built on anything concrete you guys keep not being stable enough for this person this person's realizing some things about the fact that it's not stable guys so this person wants you to grow up emotionally. And if it's not them, this could be vice versa. This person is probably needing to grow up emotionally. But there needs to be growth overall. Or there's not going to be any like real growth within your relationships. You must grow within yourself first before you can expect somebody to help you grow. And that's what, that's what I'm going to leave you guys off with. Because I feel like this reading is very straightforward. You guys are needing to do some growing, okay? um past your hurt past your past all right so that's gonna be it for this week i hope that i was able to give you guys some guidance moving forward if you do need a personal reading for yourself make sure you do check out my description box also my information for my patreon will be listed there below and i will see you guys next week you guys have an awesome week